This critical incident video details a deputy-involved shooting that occurred on September 27, 2022, at approximately 11.12 a.m. The information contained in this video is preliminary and intended to provide as much information to our community as possible. The information presented in this video could change based on information learned in the course of this investigation. On September 27, 2022, an Amber Alert out of Fontana was issued for 15-year-old Savannah Graciano. The Amber Alert was issued out of concern she was taken by her father, 45-year-old Anthony Graciano. Before the Amber Alert was issued, Mr. Graciano killed his wife outside of a school in Fontana. Mr. Graciano also shot at a father and child near the school. The next day, Mr. Graciano's pickup truck was located and a pursuit began. Multiple shots were fired at San Bernardino Sheriff's deputies during the pursuit. At the conclusion of the pursuit, there was an extensive exchange of gunfire. Both Graciano and Savannah were struck by deputy rounds and died of their injuries. A warning. This critical incident video contains graphic images and language. Viewer discretion is advised. At about 10.25 a.m. on Tuesday, September 27th, dispatch received 911 calls from people who spotted Graciano's white 2017 Nissan Frontier pickup truck west of Barstow. One caller, a clerk from a pilot gas station, reported seeing both the pickup truck and Savannah, who purchased items inside the store. Sheriff Dispatch, Michelle speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Michelle. This I'm calling from store 200 at the Pilot Travel Center at Kramer Junction. Hi. Hey, I just called a little while ago and reported, you know, the Amber Alert that was on for yesterday? Uh, with a little girl um, and her dad. What's the address you called for? The address is 5725 Highway 58. Mm, one second. Okay, I see your call. Uh, what's going on? I'm sorry? I see your call. What's going on? I think it's the girl and I think it's the dad. They're going uh, towards Barstow right now. Okay. I have a picture of the little girl that was in the front. She came in and got two sodas for me. And then number eight and the guest came to me and told me it's the same uh, Nissan Frontier and everything. They faked like they were going down south on the 395 and they turned around. And you can see him going in front of our cameras. And he, he said he... Uh, uh, ended up going uh, east of 58 towards Barso. Dispatch contacted the California Highway Patrol, which did not have any resources in the immediate area. San Bernardino Sheriff's deputies responded and began to search for Graciano's pickup truck on eastbound Highway 58. Deputies located the pickup near Linwood. Hey, sir, are you approaching Linwood? I'm sorry, can I? Are you approaching the Linwood exit? Yeah, that's a from. Yeah, there's a white pickup truck probably doing 100 miles an hour east. Yeah, that's the one I'm trying to catch up to. It's a uh, Nissan Frontier. Hey, Timmy, step it up. He's going to be about a half mile in front of you. Graciano exited Highway 58 onto southbound Interstate 15. As he was driving at a high rate of speed, it took time for deputies to catch up to his vehicle. Once they did, the first of many shots were fired from the pickup truck at pursuing deputies. A CHP and San Bernardino helicopter were en route, but not yet overhead at this stage of the pursuit. San Juan number three lane, Stradlin number four, still trying to catch up to it, coming up on the OCD. And speeds are over 113. And San Juan, if I could get a CHP unit, maybe as a charger to keep up to them. I copy. They were advised. They didn't give me their locations on where they were. Shots fired. Shots fired. I copy. Shots fired. Taking rounds. Shots fired. Oh, shots fired. I copy. Taking rounds. Still northbound number one. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. K9, are you okay? I got to check on K9. He's off in the desert. Advise your status. Number one lane, still northbound. Correction, southbound. K95, shots fired. Uh, I'm code four. Give me an airship and some additional units still southbound number one lane. Additional shots were fired from the pickup truck at deputies as they continued south on I-15 in the direction of Victorville. 
Several deputy patrol cars were struck by the gunfire from the pickup truck and one deputy vehicle was disabled. The CHP helicopter arrived overhead just south of the I-15 Wild Wash Road exit. So they are in pursuit of 18 day before, were they getting shot with a rifle or a handgun? So we're looking at that white, white guy, truck, white truck, white right truck, right two, 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 two anchors. Right. 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 Right shoulder, passing the car carrier. Okay. Okay, you got it? Yes, sir. Do you guys want us to try setting down the freeway? 15 south over by the 11th. Just slow down here. I'm going to concentrate yeah, on, on the perimeter. Uh, on the east shoulder, shoulder again. And just be careful, keep your head down. You need the binos, Jeremy? Let them know I'm uh, ICS volume. If you can, let them know I'm recording. Bridgeville 882. Bridgeville 882, we're overhead. We have the camera on the suspect. Uh, we're recording audio and volume. Oh wait, coming up, he's going to shoulder. He's coming up to the shoulder, shoulder for the suspect. Where are we at here? Uh, Dale, passing Dale. As Graciano continued south on I-15 approaching the North Stoddard Road exit, a deputy reported additional shots fired, this time from the passenger window. Seconds later, the CHP helicopter crew reported shots from the driver's side window. Trailing over the overpass a half mile north of North Stoddard. Suspect vehicle southbound passing North Stoddard now. Two, number one lane, uh, crossing over North Stoddard. Team call 24, uh, suspect vehicles in the number one lane, southbound 15, just fired a shot out the passenger window. And we're getting, uh, we're shoot, he's still firing. actively firing uh, out of the driver's side window. As the pursuit continued south in the direction of Victorville, a motorist just south of Palmdale Road captured video of the truck passing him by and firing several shots at deputies. That driver was interviewed after the incident and reported seeing a gun pointing out of the passenger side window. I flipped the video and then I, that's when I caught the back end of him. And then I didn't expect a gun to pop out shooting at me or at the cops, but he was, it looked like, it kind of looked like he was aiming at me. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Where, what part of the car did you see the gun come out of? The passenger, uh, pat, right at passenger side, right here, right out the side. He was, he was and, leaning out, just open fire. And... Was it the driver or was it someone else in the car? It must have been someone else because someone was still driving the truck. It is important to note that the statement of this witness and a deputy over the radio that shots were fired from the passenger window is an indication of what may have happened, not confirmation. This aspect of the incident is still under investigation. The pursuit concluded when Graciano exited, going the wrong way onto the Main Street on-ramp to I-15. A second motorist had dash video that led up to this moment. In the video, you can hear multiple shots fired from inside Mr. Graciano's vehicle and from deputies.
We will now show you a video from the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department helicopter of the incident conclusion. It shows that Mr. Graciano attempted to drive up an embankment onto Main Street, but he lost traction and the vehicle moved back down the embankment in the direction of I-15. When the pickup truck came to a stop, Savannah exited from the passenger side towards a nearby deputy. She was wearing tactical gear and a helmet. She went to the ground and stood up to walk toward the nearby deputy who was calling her to his position. Deputies at a distance and higher location and with differing fields of view saw a person exit the vehicle and move toward other deputies. They discharged their service weapons as the person stood up and moved toward the closest deputy. That deputy, who could see it was the passenger, was calling her over. Another warning. This video shows the moment that shots were fired and Savannah was struck. Wait, can you just be advised that the traffic's coming to a dead stop up here? Uh, there's going to be way too much backdrop for us to engage if he does end up uh, exiting and uh, making contact with you guys. If he gets in the desert... Hey, folks, like you, I can tell he's leaving and then the traffic actually firing. Oh, he just pulled out. He's pulled out. He's making a U-turn. Hey, you guys, he's going to lose control here as he goes up that embankment. Do we have units on Bear Valley? He's stalling out. I right, do. I'm doing 140, dude. Everybody's got a right one. We will now play a belt recording from the deputy closest to Savannah when she exited the pickup truck. You can hear him calling her over and telling other deputies that the person who exited the truck was the passenger and for them to stop firing, but it was too late. Deputies immediately began medical aid on Savannah and she was transported to the hospital where, tragically, she died of her injuries. Anthony Graciano was pronounced dead at the scene. Multiple firearms were located at the scene, including hundreds of rounds of ammunition, flashbang, and smoke grenades, as well as body armor and tactical helmets. This investigation is not being handled by the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department. The California Department of Justice is leading the investigation. The San Bernardino Sheriff's Office is conducting an internal review.